My name is uh, Arpad, but some people call me Yeti. Yeah, I'm on a musical journey, and I think my journey started uh, with breakdance back home in uh, Hungary. Breakdance comes with the uh, break funk, and then I love the music, and then they turn into old school hip hop, and then I just went into production. I spend long days and nights in my sneaks. I wear track suits like it's my ID. Obviously, I knew about Yanko's music from before. So many people sampled him, and it's just classics upon classics that he released, you know, back in the 70s and the 60s. To meet him and make music with him, <laughs> this is like kind of a dream come true. My name is Yanko Nilovic. I'm a composer, writer, arranger, etc., etc. I'm also doing uh, sometimes a clap dance, but uh, nothing to see with that. <laughs> I'm writing classical music, jazz, groove, funk, hip hop, anything, but it must be a good music. That's all. I met Dickies in London. I was big on French hip hop, and I still am. That was like kind of the connection with Dippies. We started to talk about French hip hop. He's like a lexicon, he knows everything, you know. Uh, okay, so I'm Dippies. Uh, I'm the CEO of Brock Records, French label, and uh, I'm also a beat maker, uh, DJ, record collector. I got a record shop, too, and uh, a publishing company. A few years ago, Dippies called me to make a radio show, uh, Wax Only Wax. So we came and we met for this, uh, for this radio show and it was crazy, he got a lot of story. We became friends <laughs> and he is also my manager now. He cost me a lot of money, but he is doing a very good job. I ask him, uh, a lot of people sample you, but did uh, people uh, offer you uh, to, to, to do collaboration? And not a lot, so let's try and uh, we try. We produced, realized a record uh, named uh, Supra Hip Hop Impressions. And then after I uh, repress some of his old uh, records like uh, Rhythme Contemporain or Un Homme Dans L'Univers or the Juju, the Definitive Juju Record Collection. Then Maze of Sounds, which had a lot of success. I think we sold 300,000 records or one million, I don't remember. No, 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 that, that's not true. It's not true, but this record had a big success. We stayed in touch with DPs uh, over the years. He made this connection with Yanko to his radio show. I introduced it to, to Yanko, and they decided to make the, a project together. I had this two basic loops that I had, which was more like with live drums and live bass and like organic instruments. I just had the idea one day to send it to Dippies and maybe see if Yanko would like it and maybe would like to collaborate. And uh, that's how this project came about. I traveled to Paris. Back in business. Came to a studio and met him. Recorded uh, at uh, Studio Le Mur du Son. He came with the score on paper, you know, and I was like, wow, I've never seen that before. I basically realized like he doesn't really need a piano to know what the chords will sound like. He sits down, writes it on paper, and he knows it already. I don't need the piano to compose. Everything is in my, my, my mind. When Yanko came to the session, he told me that he actually dreamt about the composition. I never composed on the piano. I compose when I'm sleeping. When I wake up, 
I am running <laughs> to, to my piano. I take my pencil and uh, in a few minutes, the composition is finished. When you dream, it's like something extra supernatural, if you know what I mean. So that maybe just, it makes sense to name the project you know, it's Parisian dreams because he lives in Paris and then he dreamt about the composition and then it's just magic. Don't forget that I, I'm Mon from Montenegro, fatherland, but I never forget that my mother was Greek. So I learned all the modes, the Greek modes, and I especially loved the Dorian mode. I don't know why. <laughs> I used it for a Yeti, and I use it in classical jazz and in all my music. He, he really gave the direction for this project. I really just had some time to explore, explore music and the keys, you know, and I'm really thankful for him. You know, I learned a lot. With Black Records, we mainly focus on producing vinyl. So most, all the records we made were, was made on vinyl, seven inch or LPs. We, we, we think we cannot make only digital stuff. We got to make it on uh, concrete for the sound and for the, even for the cover, you got more space so you can do some, create some crazy artwork. The vinyl is uh, the best ever support for, for the music, I think. I always wanted to make the 70s kind of vinyl music, you know, so funk, reggae, all the old music. And I just call it vinyl music. And this was in my head, like that was the picture that, you know, this guy whose music was sampled by so many people. And if I work with him, I really just want to make that vinyl music that I love. Even with the, the whole arrangement and the mixing and whatever I did, I had this picture, you know, a vision of how they had tape machines and mixing this back in the day. And I kind of wanted to like emulate this uh, 70s mixing chain. So with like the production or the mixing side, I used channel strip plugins and uh, tape emulations to kind of, you know, replicate that workflow. The project was mixed by Jeff Nola, who did a great job. Uh, I'm really happy with him. And the project was mastered by Star Delta. The cover art was made by DJ Food. We had a picture from a session with DPs and me and Yanko. I got a nice paragraph describing the project uh, by Oli Tiba. Everyone's put their heart in it, basically. And that's why it became what it is, a good record. There's no time. The time dies doesn't exist for me. It can be jazz, uh, the 70s, it can be the 80s, the 90s. Now I'm working uh, for uh, the new musics. Let's say the hip hop, funky, groovy. And uh, also my concerto for piano and orchestra and um, opera. So I'm. Uh, I'm jumping <laughs> from one thing to, to, to the other with no problem because the music is the only thing I know. <laughs> I can't do anything else in my life. Yes, I like uh, Scotch whiskey, of course, but that's all. <laughs> <laughs>